Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that's been causing quite a stir in recent years, I, or artificial intelligence. Specifically, we're going to be discussing the question on everyone's mind, is I really dangerous for humans? And why did Elon Musk, the tech genius and CEO of companies like SpaceX and Tesla, declare that I is dangerous for human? And finally, what does the future of I hold, and what professions is I going to overcome? Body? Let's start with the question at hand, is I really dangerous for humans? Well, the answer is complicated. I has already made great strides in improving our lives, from virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, to self-driving cars and medical diagnosis software. However, the more advanced I becomes, the more questions arise about its potential dangers. For example, if I gains the ability to make decisions on its own, without human intervention, what's to stop it from making decisions that could harm humans? This is where Elon Musk comes in. Musk has long been a vocal critic of unregulated eye development, warning that I could pose an existential threat to humanity if not properly controlled. In fact, he's gone so far as to call I more dangerous than nukes. While some may dismiss Musk's warnings as alarmist, there's no denying that I's potential risks need to be carefully considered. So, what does the future hold for I? It's hard to say for sure, but it's clear that I will continue to play an increasingly important role in our lives. From healthcare and finance to transportation and manufacturing, I has the potential to revolutionize almost every industry. However, this will also mean that some professions will be at risk of being overtaken by I. For example, Jobs in data entry, telemarketing, and even some aspects of medicine could be automated in the near future. Conclusion In conclusion, while I has the potential to bring many benefits to society, we must also remain vigilant about its potential dangers. It's important that we regulate eye development and ensure that it remains under human control. As we move forward into the future, we must continue to ask ourselves, what kind of relationship do we want to have with I, and what kind of world do we want to create? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.